Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Kingpin, coming to y'all today with his first YouTube fix video. Guys, I have been struggling for months trying to figure out how to overclock my controller, and now, if you're having the same problem, I have the right fix for you. Of course, y'all want to go download DS4 Windows and download your Lord of Mice overclock software, but... I'm not going to show you guys all that. There's other YouTube videos out there um, to show you how to download the overclock and the DS4 windows. But I'm just going to show you guys a fix that all the other YouTube videos and Reddits do not let you know. I finally figured it out. It took me about four months, but now my controller is at 0.5 millisecond response time. I'm going to go over here to DS4 windows, guys, and open it up and show you all my input now. I've been getting a error code of 193 forever. My input delay is now 0.5 seconds, guys. I was playing at 3.5 for the longest. And now I think I've found a fix that will save you guys forever. All right, guys. So, of course, if once you download your Lord of Mice and your DS4 Windows, if you've looked at all the other YouTube videos and tried to figure it out and it's still not working, I think this is going to be the right fix for you. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go to your Windows Start menu and you want to type in Windows Security into your Start menu. You want to click on this. You want to go down to Device Security. If one of these on the core isolation or security processor um, is going to have a exclamation mark or an X mark on it instead of these two little checks, it's going to say Dismiss or Dismiss All under one of these and you're going to want to do that. After you do that, you want to click on Core Isolation. The memory integrity will be on. You want to cut this off, guys. This is what prevents attacks and stuff from your computer, and the software that Lord of Mice uses, Windows 11, detects it as an attack to the system. So once you cut this off, guys, it's going to tell you to restart your PC. You're going to want to restart your PC. And as soon as you restart your PC, this should fix it, guys. I've been trying for months trying to overclock my controller and this is the only way that fixed it was doing this right here. So turn this off, restart your computer guys. After you download your softwares for the overclock, you want to go into it, click driver, click setup, click yes, go over here to all. This is my controller right here guys. You want to click on it, install service, and then go to rate and click your rate and filter on your device, install service again, and you should not have an error code anymore, guys. But I hope this was a good video for you guys. I hope it helped you because I know it helped me, and I'm just throwing this video out here to help everybody that's still struggling with Windows 11 on how to overclock your controller. But if this helped, guys, please make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be uploading more, guys. I just finally am now getting settled down to start back my YouTube stuff. So hopefully there will be more fixes and a lot of Call of Duty content coming to this channel, guys. But like I said, if this helped, please make sure you leave a comment saying if it helped. I would really like to know, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you follow all my socials as they'll be down below in the description. And I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I hope everybody has a great Christmas and a great New Year's, and we'll see y'all later, guys. Peace.